In our last discussion of Stop the Spending, we discussed some of the frightening numbers related to the American economy. Barring a change of direction, the word that best describes our $13 trillion national debt that will grow by $1 trillion a year for the next decade is unsustainable. Now let's consider what the International Monetary Fund says. The IMF is the watchdog of the financial systems of almost 200 member nations. They have enormous credibility. The IMF predicts that unless America changes course, by 2015, five years from now, we'll suffer the staggering blow of lowered bond ratings. Now, that would lead to bond investors pulling out and putting their money elsewhere, and we would suffer a sudden economic collapse similar to that suffered by Greece in 2010. And while this blow would be sudden, we know the root causes wouldn't be. It would result from years and years of spending like drunken sailors with no consideration to how we'll all feel in the morning. Ronald Reagan has often been credited with a strategy called starve the beast. Now, what he meant by starve the beast is if we reduce taxes first, a decrease in spending will necessarily follow. The current administration and its allies in Congress have essentially reversed that philosophy. They've proven that they always want to feed the beast, believing that if you keep spending like there's no tomorrow, higher taxes will necessarily follow. You and I need to demand that the federal government restore fiscal sanity. How? Well, first, address the unsustainable iron triangle of entitlements, Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid. Second, reform, repeal, or defund, defund their frightening health care reform. Third, derail plans for cap and trade and all their other big government dreams and schemes that always fail to deliver what they promise and always cost billions or trillions more than they promise. If they don't do these things, you can be certain that the federal government will continue to pave the road to financial ruin. But we can correct our course. We the people, the American people, have proven again and again that when involved citizens are required, much like the founders, to take decisive, even radical action to correct our course, we've done so. We've done it repeatedly over the course of our history. We did it when we went to war in the American Revolution to fight for independence. We did it when we sacrificed hundreds of thousands of our own people in the Civil War to abolish slavery. We did it when we took the fight to the terrorists in two wars after the most threatening attack on our homeland since the American Revolution on 9-11. Now think about it. The American Revolution and 9-11 representing the bookends of American history. What they share in common is the unity, decisiveness, and radical response to crisis of a nation that didn't amount to much at first, but didn't take long to become great. If you agree, make the people whose fates, after all, rest in our own hands, our congressmen and senators, know what you expect. Call or write or email them and say, stop the spending now. We are one generation away or less from debt that turns from dangerous to disastrous, or one generation away from significant economic recovery, achieve doing what we as Americans always do in crises, the hard work. Let your voice be heard and refuse to any longer elect people who continue to ignore the pleading of the American people to take a detour off the road to ruin.